oh, I'm so tired of getting through traffic. It took me hours just to get ready. And now I'm drenched in sweat. Ugh, such a waste of time. Wait, what? You still commute for work? I thought everybody's working from home now. I just got out of a Zoom meeting with my client and I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I will tell you all the secrets on how to be a digital nomad and how to work from home so you can enjoy all these benefits as well. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. I'm a finance coach and entrepreneur based in Bali. And on this channel, we explore the tools and strategies that help us level up to live happier and richer lives. Today, we talk about all the jobs you can learn and do at home. But actually, not only at home, you could probably do them anywhere you want. This could be at home. This could be in Mexico, this could be in Bali, this could be in a paradise island, anywhere, anywhere you want. The pandemic has brought a lot of change into our lives. Lots of people have started to work from home. And although the past two years have been rough for the most of us, there are still good things that arise in those times. And one of the good things that this pandemic has brought into our lives is telecommuting or put in simpler words working from home and this is possible for so many jobs and i'm 100 sure that you can learn one of these jobs to also be able to work from home or wherever you want before we jump into it don't forget to hit the subscribe button i have tons of amazing content planned for you and i don't want you to miss out and since we're pushing buttons already also hit the like button. But now let's jump right into the jobs that you can do from home or wherever you want. Job number one is virtual assistant. Being a virtual assistant is definitely not a walk in the park, but it's something that you can definitely master if you have the dedication and perseverance. It does not require a lot of technical skills, but you definitely need to be quick to provide the right solutions to your client. Every client is different and they might require a different skill set from a VA, but some of the most common traits looked for in a VA is knowledge in document management applications like Google or Microsoft Office, simple graphic design skills, as well as scheduling and organizing. As a VA, you can be an extension of your client's administrative staff, but also sometimes you might get some personal assistance tasks. Virtual assistants have been notoriously underpaid, but with the right client, the right skills, being a VA will surely help you to earn a living. One of the famous ways to get this kind of job is through Upwork. If you browse through Upwork, you will see tons of job offerings for VAs. This is because VAs have become a great source of leverage for many people and also many small businesses. If you are not sure if this job is for you, go ahead and Google some VA courses Google VA in YouTube and you will find more of a job description and you can figure out if this is for you. The courses will definitely help you kickstart your journey as a VA. Job number two, a graphic designer. Now, as you know, we live in a world where pretty much everything is becoming digital. So being a graphic designer can be quite lucrative. You can easily gain the necessary skill set experimenting in design softwares like Photoshop, Illustrator, or even Canva. If you feel like you need a little more help, you can seek out to YouTube. There are tons of artists willing to share their knowledge with you for free. The great thing about being a graphic designer is that you can do your whole business online. From idea creation to prototype building to delivery, it's all online. You also don't have to fully commit to this eight hours per day. You could just do it as a little side hustle on top of your full-time job. And after all, if art is actually your passion, would it really feel like working? 
probably not. Number three, freelance writer. Written communication has always been an integral part of our society. In a digital or non-digital world, it doesn't really matter. Words weigh just as heavy as videos or photos. That's why having a good writer in every kind of team is super important. What's amazing is that almost everybody can be a writer if they are really willing to do it, if they really want it, and if they have the heart to fulfill that. Writers only need a text processing application and the internet, and they are good to go. Even though a lot of people think that writers are not super well paid, it really depends because some writers working part-time can earn up to $5,000 per month, and that's part-time. Imagine you would be doing this full-time. Number four, video editor. The need for video editors comes with the rising number of YouTubers. Did you know that every minute an average of 500 hours of YouTube video material is uploaded? Imagine all the opportunities for freelance video editors. All you need is a laptop equipped with a good video editing tool. This could be Final Cut Pro, if you have a Mac, you have iMovie, that works, or even Premiere Pro from Adobe. Video editors can be paid somewhere between $5 to $20 per hour. This highly depends on their individual skills and also a bit on their location. If you really want to get video editing but don't really know how to do it, there are tons of amazing tutorials on YouTube. Also, if you want to start a little side hustle but are not that into video editing but actually really enjoy, for example, posting reels on Instagram or TikToks, you could actually deliver a service of editing shorts for YouTube, reels for Instagram or TikToks because this task usually takes quite a bit of time and most businesses don't have the time so they would be happy to pay somebody to edit their shorts or reels or TikToks. And all you need for this is actually just your phone and an app where you can edit those videos. Number five, an e-commerce business. This is something a little different from what we mentioned before because it's not just a job, it's a business. Running an Etsy or an Amazon store can be really overwhelming in the beginning. But the great thing is when you start your own business, you grow so much. You learn new skills, you level up, and with every mistake you make, you make huge learnings. There's even a great method where you can start an Etsy store without any upfront capital. If this sounds interesting to you, but you might not want to invest some upfront money, I have a great option for you. It's called Etsy Print On Demand and I made a full video about this and I will link it here and in the description box down below. This might definitely be able to help you out and run a successful Etsy store. With either Etsy or Amazon, I'm sure you can create a great income for yourself if you put in the work. These are only five options of a multitude of options you actually have when you want to work remotely. But there are four things you must keep in mind to be successful in this work from home venture. Number one is perseverance. Remember that nothing worth having comes super easy. And in order to reach your goals, you will have to put in the work. If you want to succeed as a digital nomad earning multiple streams of income, you have to persevere and do the work. The start will probably never be a walk in the park, but once you establish a good flow, it will be 100% worth it. Number two, discipline. Working from home comes with many temptations. Going to the fridge every five minutes, doing your laundry, Cleaning out that corner that has been messy all the time just in order to not do the work. We've all been there, we've all done that. And if you are a serious procrastinator, it might be really hard for you to succeed. If you are willing though, you can change this with building the right routines and building better habits. Number three, eagerness to learn. Being a digital nomad requires continuous and constant learning. If you can't tolerate that, then this might not be for you. 
You have to see yourself as a bottomless pit that can store unlimited amounts of information, new skills, learnings, so you can put more value into yourself and also be dynamic and never settle. Number four, maximize your resources. You should know how to use Google to your best advantage. This is definitely in connection with the previous point being eager to learn. Google is one of the best places to look for the necessary resources and the best part is it's free. You don't have to spend a lot of money to learn new skills. All you have to do is do the research, sit down and learn. Now I know it takes a lot to be successful in working from home and earning extra money. But if you persevere, this is one of the best ways to up your quality of life. You get to earn money in the safety of your home. You don't need to go through traffic. You actually don't even have to be at home. You can just travel to a tropical country and work from there. Basically what I'm doing. And also you have a lot more free time since you're not commuting and losing an hour or two each and every day. This time you can spend with your loved ones, you can invest it in yourself, in your growth, in your happiness. Sounds pretty epic, right? Now, do you think you have what it takes to be a digital nomad? What is the best way for you to earn money from home or from anywhere in the world? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button because I have tons of amazing content planned for you and I upload new videos every Tuesday. And if you pressed the subscribe button and the bell, I guess I'll see you in my next video then. Bye.